In order to find the surface area of a cube or cuboid, we're going to use a very different process than we use for volume. First off, volume is how much space an object or a solid takes up. Surface area is very different. Surface area is just how much area is on each of the surfaces of the cube or cuboid. Or we sometimes say, in math, it's basically the sum of the areas of each face. So if you take the areas of all the faces of a cuboid, remember a cuboid always has six faces. If we take the areas of all six of those faces and add them up, we would get the total surface area of the cube or the cuboid. So let's take a look at this formula. We have a formula that says the surface area equals two times length times width, length times height, and width times height. We add these up and then we multiply by two. Well, let's figure out where that formula came from. Again, I'm going to label my length, width, and height of my cuboid. So length times width looks like it gives us the area of this top part of the cuboid. So this really is the top. And since if we had seen the, I'll just put the dotted line in here to represent the bottom and back sides of the cube. That's also the same dimensions of the bottom of the cuboid here. So really, this length times width, and I'm going to write it over here where I have a little bit more space. This length times width is just representing the top and bottom of the cuboid. The next part is length times height. Let's take a look. The length, which is this longer side times the height, looks like it's representing the front of the cuboid. It's going to trace along the front and the back of the cuboid. Look at these horizontal lines that I'm tracing. So the length times height just represents the front and the back. Lastly, we have width times height. Width times height is the shorter side of the top times the height, which is basically giving us these areas right here, which are the sides of the cuboid. There are two sides. There's a front and a back, which is two, two faces, and a top and a bottom, which is two faces. If I add these up, that gives me my six total faces. Or in this problem, it tells me to multiply them and then multiply it by two. Multiply these, then multiply by two. Multiply these, and then multiply by two. That's doing the exact same thing. Instead of adding up six different faces, we can just multiply each type by two in order to get the six total faces. Remember, since surface area is an area measurement, we don't measure it in cubic units, we measure it in square units. So again, that surface area formula is simply two times length times width plus length times height plus width times height. Or you can simply add up the areas of the faces. Both ways will give you the surface area.